What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video of Epic Hawaiian Adventures. Today's video, um, the, obviously, you know, like with some of the videos, I already, you know, go through the day and then record the intros at the end. So, what happens in today's video, trust me, it's a banger. You guys are going to want to see it. Um, some crazy stuff happened in this whipping sesh. Um, and I would take this thing, you know, I, I know I took a one, like a month off of uploading. Um, that was because I had work. I started a new job. Um, and it's, it's amazing, you know, it's helped me out a lot in life. Um, but you guys, the YouTube side of things, everybody's still been supporting the YouTube channel a lot. And I got that from, for love with you from you guys. Um, I know my dad, he really appreciates it too. He likes seeing, you know, you guys enjoy the content that we make. Um, he's not here, unfortunately, he does work today. I have to go do some stuff at the doctor's office. Um, that's why I didn't go for today. But I thought before I do that, I'll get this, you know, I will get a whip session because it's been a while. And I haven't uploaded a YouTube video, so try to get one. And man upstairs gave me one so that I can show you guys and bless you guys with a YouTube video. So, hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. Let's jump straight into it. Don't forget, keep tuning in for some epic adventures we got going on. And uh, I'll try to keep the uploads consistent from here on out. Peace. Oh, 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 this fucker's massive. Oh, oh, lock him on, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, this thing's huge. I saw it. Fucking big dog! Oh, this thing's massive. Holy fuck! I saw him. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hop. 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 Boost this fucker. Up. Big fucking dog, baby. Boost this fucker. No, 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 no.
No, no, no. Oh, fucking dude. Oh, it's a fucking dude. Oh. One fucking dude, baby! Yes, sir! Woo! One fucking hammer! Woo! One fucking dude, baby! Please tell me my GoPro's rolling. Oh, let's fucking go, boys! One fucking dude! Yes, sir! One fucking dude, baby! Check this out. Woo! Got that fucker, boys. Yes, uh, small setup to 4,000 10 pound braid. Uh, this is actually my fucking rug pole. It's a 12, 12, 6, like light fucking, I don't know, it's not a punchy pole. Light pole, 50 pound uh, leader, bubble, swivel. And then a rubber lip fly. He was fucking stuck. He wasn't going anywhere. Bro, this guy's a fucking dude. Let's go, boys. One fucking down, baby. Hold on. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I just said too before that cast, I gotta film it. Smoked. Dude, I seen him come up. And just. Oh, I knew he was big from the second I seen him come up. Come up, missed. Come up again. Smoked it. Take five. Take five. Gotta re. You know. Reprocess what just happened. Holy shit, is a dude. That maybe like, like five, six. Nah, maybe he could even have seven. Oh, this thing's freaking massive. I'm gonna try to set my GoPro up so I can show you guys. Hold up. Bro, this thing's a freaking dude. Holy crap. All right, set my GoPro up. Let's go. Yes, sir. One down, baby. Freaking hammer one. Stoke, stoke, stoke. Alright. So, well, today wasn't supposed to be a YouTube video, but I guess it is. Um, I'm short on time. I have to go somewhere in a little bit. So, that's why there's, there was no, you know, that's why this video is going to be a little weird. Um, but yeah, I'm short on time. 10:34. I got half an hour and I got a dip. You know, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna do a few casts for you to go and you know, sure enough, man. We ended up sticking off, big dude. Um, first Papillo I ever caught on a bubble to fly with this pole, and man, he some. Uh, he tried smoking me. I kind of just locked up and broke his neck. He, he wasn't going anywhere. Um, I had confidence that you know the the leader was gonna hold. It's 10 pound grade. It was kind of iffy, but. I knew as long as I kept him off the reef, it was gonna hold. Um, actually, right here in the front, you would have seen me scramble. He went and dove a rock right here, tried to dive a rock over there. Uh, but just played the fish smart, and he came out, and we ended up getting one of the rocks. Big dude, super stoked. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a few more casts, a couple more, and then head out of here. Um, so let's stick around for those casts. Let's do that right now. Um, nothing but blessed, man. Oh, look at him again. This thing is massive, bro. This thing is freaking huge. Um, yeah, try and get another baby. Alright guys, as you would have seen, we hooked that fucking dude. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had nothing but blessing, man. I've been fishing a while because of work. Um, I got a dog's appointment today, so I thought, you know, before that, let's go hit a sesh. Try to get a YouTube video for you guys, and um, I got blessed enough to hook into that monster, man. 
again, like I've said in the in the other whipping video, um, if you hear if you hear like noise in the back, that's my earbuds. I listen to music when I when I whip because it's kind of soothing, you know, it's peaceful. So yeah, but yeah, let's try and see if we can get another one. Not too much blessings, man. See you guys outside. Esa. Yeah, and I don't know if I said it, but this is my light setup. Like, this is like super light. Um, I use this for like whipping a grub. But unfortunately, my, my plugging pole, my actual heavy game pole is broken. Um, well, it was broken. I fixed it now. I just gotta go pick it up. But yeah, it was broken, so I haven't had it. Um, that's why I just decided to use this one. Um, but as long as you lock him up from the jump, he was dead, man. Ah, I'm so stoked. There's nothing better than a top water bite, man. That shit just gets me going every time. And as you guys probably can't tell by now, but I'm a little sick too. So, yeah. It's good to get out, get some sun. Helps it. It's better than staying in bed, you know. Put a top in here. It's better than staying in bed and trying to rest. I know the doctor will tell you when you're sick, you know. Stay in bed, rest. Yeah, that just keeps you sick longer. Get out, sweat it out, you know. You'll feel better after. Trust me. Wow, my leg. So interesting. Come on, one more. I throw him back, but just to get bent again. For the boys. Yeah, so I've said it before, um, but I'll say it again. The way I whip is I'll do one, 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 and then I'll move. I'll do three casts because um, I've always, you know, whipped by that rule of thumb where if they're there, like you guys have seen that big omilu, and within the first like two or three casts, they'll come up if they're there. If they're not there, they're not there, you know what I mean? So that's why I usually do three casts, spread them out, you know, evenly or kind of evenly. Um, the same retrieve in all of them because just to try to see like, you know, it's a, you know, the same fish. Um, and if they're there, they'll come up. If not, then you just keep moving. That's the biggest thing of whipping, I think, is is you just gotta constantly move. I know some people, some areas, you know, may not have access to moving, or um, it may not be a very big area. And that at points like that where you're stuck, you know, you just throw your the same setup all day and hope you get lucky. And I've had happen before. Um, but if you have access, like I do, where you have a big coastline. Uh, I feel like it's really good if you can if you just keep on moving. All right, let's move the spots. A bunch of fish down there. I should have my tripod so I can set you guys up while I do this. Um, yeah, let's get rolling. And I'll do the outro at home, I think. One side did. Wish I could take it back today. They that my mama named me. I also got this cool fanny pack my girlfriend bought it for me for our anniversary. Oh, I think my other AirPods is dead too. Screw it. She'll take it out. Um, well, I'll show you guys. Put it in my AirPods. Hold up. She bought it from High Fish. Kirsten is a gangster. Alright, take my phone out. Put my phone away. Oh, it's not going to fit that one. this one. That sucks, man. I want to listen to music on the way home. It's okay. Um, yeah. Oh, yes, they're always. Make sure, yes. 
Yeah, so see, my girlfriend bought me this thing, right? It's the, it's a high fish gear fanny pack. This thing's lit. I also bought my friend one. Um, bought him one for his birthday. This thing's gangster. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back. Oh, my fish is gonna on. We're gonna go head back. I should tie him up, I'm an idiot. Um, we're gonna go head back, you know, whip a couple times on the way back. And then, yeah, we'll do the intro. The outro of my house. See you guys then. Peace. I know I said it in the after I caught the Milo, but this is the setup I'm using. Um, a rubber that flies. The guy's over at, over there. Oh, it's, I think it's a single man. Um, he's a super cool dude, man. That dude. If you guys have not tried his flies out, I highly recommend them. They're the only flies I use now. Um, quality wise, they're super good. Uh, I've used the other a couple other companies, and what the problem I had with those companies is. When you hook so much fish on them, the feathers start to pull out and then the fly becomes thinner and thinner. I've never had that problem with rubber lip flies. They're super quality. Uh, I've never had a hook bent on me, you know. You guys have seen, you know, I hooked that giant fish on this tiny hook and it, it didn't bend out. I had a lot of drag. You guys have seen I cut the spool quite a few times. I was just trying to keep them off the reef. Um, solid flies, man. And then I have 50 pound mono, probably like three feet of that. And then um, uh, tough bubble, you know, your, your typical bubble and fly setup. And then unfortunately, like I said earlier, I do have the wrong pole. This isn't my normal plugging pole. Like this is my actual, it's actually like my, see how soft it is? This is my grub pole. It's like a, there's specs on this thing. It throws half to two ounce lures. It's a 10-7, you know, it's a, it's a lighter pole, but it got the job done. Also, I have a 4,000 pen fierce on it, 10 pound braid. Um, and yeah, this thing just gets the job done. That just goes to show that you don't really need really high-end, good, expensive gear to land quality fish. As long as you kind of play the fish right, as you guys have seen, dove in the rock, you know, you just gotta play them smart, try to keep away from the rock as much as possible. Um, and in the landing, as you guys would have saw, he kind of took off. I feel like the landing is the hardest part of the whole fight just because you've already seen the fish you're you're you know you're all excited you're overwhelmed and that's where mistakes get made i feel like the biggest thing with that is just keep calm you know play it slow you other so i tried to land instead of just ripping him in i let go of the leader played him out a little bit grabbed the leader again you know and then slowly brought him up with the wave that's just you know just play it slow and uh, you'll land the fish every time but yeah let's get back to it um so I stare a few casts over here, that's where I caught him. Nothing. Again, it's like the Owama one, I don't know. I tie a Rapala loop knot, I think this thing is called. I don't know, I just do it so that the fly has free, you know, it can free sway. It's not so tensed up that way in the water, it's just free, you know. Looks like a fish. Um, yeah, here's a setup I caught him on. 12.7, 4,000 fears, 10 pound braid, solid pull. Solid setup, I love it, super light, you know travel and then here's the big dog so i'm gonna head back that way you know nothing but thankful man always always great when you can land one of these take it home and eat it it's amazing but yeah i'm gonna take him back we're gonna walk through a couple more casts before we head home see you guys in the next spot all right guys we're gonna do a few casts of here um funny story about this particular spot my cousin thor i know guys i like to talk a lot but my cousin thor actually I just feel like it doesn't keep the video boring, you know? My cousin Thor, um, he was getting, you know, he came down from the Vegas upset. I, I've mentioned him in a bunch of my videos, but he came down and we started, he was fishing at my house every day. It was a couple summers ago. And we came one morning, six o'clock in the morning. And he's he seen me catch a bunch of Omilus on bubble and fly, you know? And he was always wanting to hook one. He's always wanted to try. Um, so he was pressing with me for like, like, like a month straight. Um, he didn't get anything, he caught a small one, that was it. Uh, and then one day, we wake up super early, we head out here, and we're just, you know, it's like one of the last days before he leaves. You know, we're all burnt out already, we're like, ah, whatever, you know, we didn't catch anything. And then uh, he's just messing around, he's doing like some, like something like this, like some crazy stuff. And right at his feet, right off those rocks, a hammer just comes up and smashes it. Um, and no, him, he's not experienced, right? Locks the drag and just boosts the thing on the rock. Like an easy four or five pounder. He just locks the drag, boosts it on the rock. My alarm's going off. 
Hold up, hold on. Yeah, locks the drag, boosts the thing on the rock. It was, it was epic, man. It was, it was crazy. And then that was right before he left. So, this place has a lot of fish. That's why I tend to keep it on the low. Um, I, I mean, I know everybody knows about it, you know, but it's just one of those places I've said it a million times. Every time I come here, it's fish. Every time. Um, and, you know, part of it is because, you know, a lot of times I'll throw back a lot of small milus, but I know I'm not the only person that does that. Pretty sure there's people that fish here, you know, and they do the same. Um, and big ups to those guys, because without all of us, this place wouldn't have fish like it has now. So, yeah. It's probably my last gas. I just, I just scared something off the surface. white water but surprised nothing's in it you know what I mean easier to think we're in the edge of the white water pop pop boom I guess not pop pop no try over there and the little fishies over there all right nothing all right we're out of here All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, this quick little whip sesh. Uh, we, unfortunately, like, you know, it was one of those days where we actually got lucky. We went out, I targeted something, um, and we ended up hooking it. You know, nothing but luck. Fish is 100% luck. Uh, and I got lucky enough, I caught on this small light setup. As you guys would have seen, that was a hell of a fight. It was super fun. Um, and if you guys haven't used a bubble on a fly already, I highly recommend you try it. It's super, super fun. Nothing is better than a topwater bite. The guys that fish, they know, you know, nobody, everybody will vouch that. A topwater bite, hands down, best bite you can get. Um, my GoPro's looking in the sky because I can't hold it straight. Um, and again, rubber lip flies, super good fly. Um, everybody has their personal preference. I've, like I said, I've used a bunch of them. Rubber lip is the one that I'm stuck with. I'll always use them forever. It's just because of quality. Um, they always, they catch fish, obviously. Um, I've always had them catch fish for me. And he's a really cool dude, man. The dude's really cool. Um, another thing too you know if you guys see any if you guys have any videos you guys want to see me try and make i'll go out there and i'll do it um i have a setup video i just got a bunch of new stuff including this fanny pack that my girlfriend bought me if you guys want to see what's inside of it let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see you know my whole setup like my whole dunking setup and all that let me know in the comment section below even if you guys want to know how to rig up a you know above and fly setup like you guys want to know how to rig it up let me know i'll put i'll, I'll make a video on it and then um but yeah until next video as always you guys you know it's always, uh, it's always a blessing to be out here. Just be safe. Um, and then right after this, I'll throw in the weight of the fish and all that. I'll take it home, weight and all that. Um, we'll see you guys at home. Peace.